Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to play any game at 60 FPS on the Xenia emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure you guys you like, share, and also subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, you guys are basically gonna need is something called Notepad++, which I'll leave in the description down below. And it should lead you to the latest version as I'm t at the time of recording this video is uh, 8.1.2. So it's very important for you guys to have Notepad++. Um, if you guys don't prefer, you can use the regular Notepad, but I prefer to use Notepad++ because it's more easier to basically track the configuration settings on the Xenia emulator. So yeah, so basically, um, the way to basically play any game at 60 FPS is basically trying to uncap your game by dis basically disabling VSync. And the way we do that is obviously we're gonna left click Xenia dot configurations and we're gonna edit it with Notepad plus plus. And then as you see, we're already here. So if you guys can't find um, uh, VSync, it's at 156 um, page line. But if you guys are not using um, Notepad++, uh, just going to control and F and then type in sync or VSync, type in sync and then find next. Uh, I just passed it, but usually that's how you basically find VSync when you're right here. So the way to basically play any game at 60 FPS, you got to turn VSync into false, basically false. You know, type in, oh, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> it was basically typed in, in false. And then after you do that, you go to file you go to save as and then obviously you're going to save it into your uh, Xenia um, profile. Let's talk Xenia emulator and then you just save it. And after that, you just exit out. Obviously I'm not going to save it due to the fact that I want my games to be played at 30 FPS. So after you do that, you open up the Xenia emulator and then you should be all set to go. But do keep in mind guys that when you're, when you're trying to play games past 30 FPS, you got to have a PC that's capable of doing it. So if your games are already struggling at 30 FPS with the Xenia emulator, most likely you're not going to get a great experience trying to uncap your, <laughs> try to uncap games from 30 FPS. And as you guys can see, um, if you guys go to the Xenia GitHub page, um, when you um, disable or turn it off on um, VSync to false, aka uncap FPS, it obviously said that this won't improve the frame rate if your PC cannot handle the game running at the native FPS, meaning that if your game if your PC is struggling running games at 30 FPS, it will not work if you're trying to put it to 60 FPS because you're trying to push your PC to a new limit. So it basically probably won't work. And it's and sometimes certain games are not capable of 60 FPS due to the fact that the game was basically made to only be playable at 30 FPS. And some and it gives you examples on certain games like Banzo, um, Kazooie, Halo 3, and Sonic the Hedgehog, based Sonic 06. So do keep in mind if a game that's native natively was supposed to be made playable at 30 FPS, most likely you won't see much of a difference playing at 60 FPS. Also, you guys have to keep that in mind when you guys are trying to basically trying to play games in 60 FPS on the Xenia emulator. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe. And yeah, guys, this is your Barbara Zone. I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.